Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. But what is so bad? is the way that we are treating even the way we treat some of these people. Like the way we are treating Vantuanika, Esther Lungu. This is what Edgar Lungu foresaw when Edgar Lungu started building properties, eh, belt flats for Esther Lungu. It is to avoid a situation where ba Esther Lungu, in case he dies, move to in case Balungu Bafwa, Balungu thought, okay, in case I'm not, I'm not there, how will my wife live? Baba Kulino Tuma Flats, Mwayapo Kama Flats. Eh? What did you want? What did you want? Yes, of course, Tandiwe Banda also. Yeah. What did you want? What did you want? What, what, what are you trying to do? What, what is the future of the Lerong Lenda Bamorin Mwanawasa? With what you are doing, Kuliba Esther Lungu, what, what future are we foreseeing, Kuliba Esther Lungu? What future are we foreseeing? We want to strip her to be a destitute. To be a destitute, that's what we want. When the husband thought has taken care of the wife, built some properties, but he was like, Ni hypocrisy. Ukumka leli that yo, hey, Morin Mwanawasa, Morin Mwanawasa, Morin Mwanawasa. But look at the way you are treating these others. Look at the way you are treating Ba Esther Lungu. And you know, like how I say that, I usually avoid talking about Ba Maewa Mutinta. Ba Maewa Mutinta. Ba Maewa Mutinta. I am not drawing you into politics. But you know, you are very powerful. Me, I know you are very powerful. You are very powerful. A lot of these women that are married to these influential people, they are very powerful. I know some of these women who I have met, I know they are very powerful. And I have, I have heard stories. I have heard stories. But my Mutinta, she's very powerful. But Mamaewa Mutinta, when you see your fellow women suffering, do you intervene for them? Do you intervene for them? Do you speak on their behalf? You are a woman. You are a woman. Are you telling me, Imanishi, you are so ignorant about what is happening in our society that you don't know? Are you telling me, you didn't know about the suffering of Vamorin Wanawasa? You didn't know. You couldn't intervene for her. You couldn't intercede for her. I mean, you are the. Bahaka in the is very powerful. The next powerful person is you. And why you are powerful? Because you are the man that you are the woman that that stays with this with this man. Bahaka in the will go everywhere and everywhere and everywhere. People trying to touch him, they can't even touch him. They can't even reach him. They can't even reach him. They can't even shake his hand. But he mutinta haka in the ichirema esa muna ndamu Esa munga ndamu mienu Afrika afura le sapato, afura le fiya kufuwala. Mwamu mwona uyu. Mwamu mwona uyu haka inde ichilima. Ala ala lefu wala le minko nono muli na angwe. Kuti mwamu uusha na, 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 na zero three kuti mwamu uusha yue buka tulande. 
You are very powerful. But how do you inf how do you influence Haka in the Ichiri? For who? For who? Why are you not influencing Haka in the Ichirema for, 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 your, for your fellow women? Why didn't you influence Haka in the Ichirema to help Bamorin uh, Mwanawasa? Why? Ima Bamorin Bamutinta, Ima Bamutinta. Do you think it is okay the way by Esther Lungu Bale Chula? Do you think it is okay? Apaso kuri chilo muka kumana, you will meet. Imwe ba mutinta muka kumana na ba Esther Lungu, muka kumana na ba na ba Vera Chiruwa, muka kumana na ba Tandiwe, muka kumana you will meet. I know these functions you will meet. As you will be looking at these, your fellow women, what will be running in you? What will be running in you? Knowing what they are going through. How are you going to look at Bamayoba Esther Bungu when you look at her face? With what she's going through, what is going to run in your head? When you'll be doing that body viewing, you'll be seeing Bamorin Mwanawasa lying in the casket. Are you going to say, are you going to say you tried with the opportunity that you have, with the privilege that you have of seeing her kind of HLM naked? Of seeing her kind of HLM naked, did, did, are you going to say you had an opportunity to intervene for this woman? Or oh, yes, you'll be wailing and whatever, whatever, putting up so that you not young lady. But you couldn't help, you couldn't intervene. You couldn't, you couldn't, you, you couldn't intervene for your fellow woman. Eh? You couldn't intervene. Why couldn't you intervene for these people? You could have done that. And even today, we have these other women. What are you going to do about it? Because this is a lesson. This is a lesson. This is a lesson. But in Mutambo, whatever, no one is immortal. Of course, no one is immortal. I'm not, we are not talking about immortality. Be logical. Be logical. No one is talking about immortality here. Unless your, your Nigerian papas, maybe they are immortal. But everybody is mortal. But when we are alive, what do we do? What do we do? We need to help one another. Yes, death will come. But as we are alive, we should be able to help one another. That is my point. I don't care. We are going to die tomorrow, whatever, whatever. I don't care. The point is that when we are privileged, like the way Mutinta is privileged, she should be able to help her fellow ladies. And especially the former first ladies. She's the first lady today. She's the first lady today. So she should be able to look at her friends to say, how are they? How are they? And intervene for them. And intervene for them. Because soon she will also be a former first lady. Soon she will be a former first lady. And will she be happy to be treated the way these others are being treated? Would she be happy to fall into some debt, some financial challenges, the way Bamorin Mwanawasa went into financial challenges? Would she be happy, you know, if she's neglected? Or maybe she thinks, you know, the husband has stolen so much. So Maybe that's what she thinks. Maybe, maybe that's what she thinks. But I'm telling you, you just never know what life will bring tomorrow. You just never know. Like in the gospel of that rich man who was saying, now I am so rich, it's okay. Now I have packed my bands, they are full. I'll just be sitting and drinking and whatever, whatever. And God said, you are being foolish because tonight I'll take out my life out of you. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.